The familiar sight of these mobile telecom phone booths and kiosks around the Wandega traffic lights area adjacent to the market will but only be a memory after KCCA law enforcement officers under the watchful eye of police moved to clear illegal structures in the area. The operation, which began around 10 o'clock this morning, saw some of the affected business operators hurriedly carry whatever they could to unknown locations. KCCA officials who asked not to be filmed said they had given prayer notice to the owners of the property about the operation. Unlike the controversial 22nd January Luzida eviction that turned bloody, kiosk owners were allowed to move their property before demolition work began. But vendors in the area are crying foul, saying they are hounded by city authorities wherever they try to start over again. Kampala Capital City Authority last year began a campaign to rid city streets and walkways of vendors and kiosks, which have for long eaten into pedestrian walkways and contributed to congestion. Elsewhere, taxi drivers in Nyantonde are up in arms protesting the unfair treatment at the hands of the town clerk, who they say is behind the exorbitant operation fees levied on them. Members of the Liantonde Taxi Drivers Association are bitter after Martin Rogers Sentongo awarded a rival organization, Liantonde Taxi Owners and Drivers Association, a contract to collect dues on behalf of the town council. The drivers say they are being overcharged and harassed. <laughs> Inevitably, passengers bear the cost and are now feeling the pinch. Uh, so high, such as that the drivers to get the money, they must overcharge the passengers. However, an official with the taxi owners and drivers group says the dispute stems from the disorganization among the drivers. The drivers are for now adamant and say they will operate along the Masaka Mbara Highway until they are heard.